Wear the mask. We are joined now by former CDC director, that's Dr. Tom Frieden. He is a president and CEO of the initiative Resolve to Save Lives, which works to prevent epidemics. Good morning to you, Dr. Frieden. I want to start with President Trump's remarks over the weekend that 99% of the cases are harmless. That's really hard to take, especially today following the death of Nick Cordero, who's 41, walked into the emergency room. They were thinking it's pneumonia. Of course, we all know he did not make it out. So what did you think when you heard that? Yeah, well, thanks for asking. Thanks for covering this. I think that part of the challenge here is that we've lost the nuance. Some people are saying this is a hoax, it's fake, it's not serious. Other people may be saying it's the worst thing in the world, it's a zombie apocalypse. It's neither. This is a terrible pandemic. It has killed 130,000 Americans. It has sickened many, many more. And we don't yet know what the long-term complications of some of that illness is. But it is true that 99% of people who get it will survive. We need a more nuanced approach. Right now, the virus has the upper hand throughout much of America, most of America. We can regain the upper hand if we work together. If we work together, we can get our kids back to school in the fall, we can restart our economy, and we can prevent deaths. But we'll only do that by coming together to stop the virus. It's not going to stop on its own. We have to stop it. And we do that through the three Ws, wear a mask, wash your hands, watch your distance, and by strategic testing. This focus on the number of tests is totally misguided. What we need to be asking yeah, that's, is, are that's the what right I want to get into. Being done that's in what right I want to get into. The right things being done. Yes, Gail. That's what I want to get into, Dr. Frieden, the testing, because the president is blaming the surge on the increase in testing. Does he have a point? Um, although it's true we're testing more, we're finding a whole lot more. And so it is absolutely clear this is a real increase. You don't have to tell the doctors in the emergency rooms who are dealing with tons of patients right now throughout the south and south, uh, uh, southeast, southwest of the U.S. that uh, this is real. It's real. Now, the fact is we're also seeing this more in younger adults, the 20 to 40-year-olds. Year old, it was a mistake to open bars early, and we're paying for that mistake. But there are things that everyone can do to quiet this down. If you're a young adult, remember, you don't want to have the severe illness or death of an older relative on your conscience for the rest of your life. Everyone who's exposed needs to quarantine. Everyone who's within six feet of other people needs to wear a mask. There's a lot of things we can do, and there's no one perfect answer. It's a comprehensive, all of society response. You know, Gail, we are an outlier. Countries all over the world, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, yes. are controlling the virus. It's not easy, but we're not, and yeah. we can. But there's another interesting development. It's being reported that scientists are asking the World Health Organization to update the virus, update us on how the virus is spread. Is there new information about that or new concerns about how the virus is spread? We're still not sure of some of the details, and that's one of the reasons we need to do those detailed investigations of every case. A great epidemic response learns constantly. What the debate is among scientists is how common is what's called aerosol transmission, and that means that fine particles stay in the air for an hour or two. We know it happens some. It happens in healthcare facilities when you do certain procedures. It happens when choirs sing. It spews particles out there that can infect a lot of people. It also is true that there is spread from contaminated surfaces. But for all of those things, wearing a mask can make a really big difference. That's why everyone needs to wear all a mask right. when they're within six feet of other people. All right, I just wish people would listen to the scientists. And you're right, most people recover from this COVID-19. COVID but if you're one of the rare people that don't recover, that's little consolation when you see the figures. Thank you, Dr. Thomas Frieden. We appreciate your time.